Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? My name's Chris. Welcome to my channel, dudes. Welcome to my channel. This is a technology-based channel. I want you to look and learn. Learn everything you can. Do your best. The Lord loves you and so do I. Peace out. Cue the intro. Hello everybody, it's Chris again, back with my second video, finally. This is so hard. Um, so this one is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to go into networking a little bit. So I'm going to kind of describe what a network is, what it does. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video, but if you're looking for a networking video, look no further because I've got a whole series on networks and what they do, what their purpose is kind of the different types of topologies, which means the way that they're designed to work. Okay, so here we go. Cue the intro. Wait, no, never mind. We already did that. That's in the beginning. <laughs> I fooled you, didn't I? Okay, so what is a network? You may be asking that question. Have you ever wondered, what's a network? What's they do? What do they do? What are they for? I mean, do they, are they magic? they have like a little Harry Potter one that you wave over them and they just work? No, that's not it. It doesn't work like that at all. It kind of does, but no. So the first step is it's two or more computers that are connected together, right? So for instance, um, so if you look at my screen right here, right here, this one. So it says a computer network comprises two or more computers connected either by cables or Wi-Fi or Wireless Fidelity is what, it's, what Wi-Fi stands for. With the purpose of transmitting, exchanging, or sharing data and resources. So it could be anything from a printer to file, uh, file server. I mean, it could be anything, really. It's just a way to connect things together. So it's sort of like a, um, a car or a road system. That's a really good example. A road system can, has main roads that connect sub side roads and those side roads have to take the main road to get to the other main road so that you can get to Walmart. Well, networking is similar to that. You have routes that you have to take. You have a certain set of rules that govern how that works. But we're not going to get into that too much yet. We're going to get into that later. Okay. So there's two types that I'm going to describe today. The first type is called a LAN. Okay, a LAN is a local area network. So right here, you can see right here, local area network. And it's typically defined as being in close proximity to each other. So you could have multiple LANs all close to each other, right? So you have a LAN and you have a WAN. This is the other part, the wide area network. The WAN is typically what you will call a public network, right? So public means that everybody has access to it. So when you go on the internet, it's a big network of computers. That's all it is. Always remember that. It's like a road system, and they all work like a road system. I mean, really, that's basically how they work. So it's interesting because... Um, there are, um, so what's the purpose of a network? Why would you want to connect computers together? Well, that's a good question. The main reason is to transfer things. So let's say you need a file to go from, here, I'll just show you my network. This is my network. Basically, this is what it looks like right here. So I have Allo coming into my network, right? This is my ISP, my internet service provider. Whoops. Oh, shoot, we don't want to do that. Okay, so we have that, and then Untangle is my firewall. So on this side, this is the public side, the WAN. So all the traffic has to go through this line to get to the Internet, as we know it, right? YouTube is a, ser a bunch of servers. They're all, I mean, it's very simple. There's just a bunch of servers sitting out there somewhere, in a data center and we communicate with them. A bunch of computers communicating. It's still the same basic principles. 
untangle is my firewall. So that's where, so let's say that you have traffic coming in from the outside, from this side coming in. What you don't want to happen is have stray communication coming through. So a firewall is sort of like building a brick wall, like what's behind me? It's like a wall, right? So you have a wall behind you, and in that wall, you poke little holes, right? So that traffic can flow through the hole it needs to flow through. Those are called ports, but we're not going to get into any more of that right now. Okay, this is the land side. So within this firewall, there is routing going on. It's routing from the internal address, internal interface, to the external, right? LAN, WAN. LAN is internal, WAN is external, right? Okay, so if you look here, it goes into a switch. This is my Dell switch. I have an enterprise level switch. And within this switch, it does a bunch of little things. We're going to discuss that way later, but basically, it just takes traffic and moves it from one place to the next, right? So on this one side right here, this LAN side, this will connect to one of the ports. All the traffic flows through this switch to that one port, okay? If you look up here, this is my virtualization server. So I have a machine, it's a Dell T410. That's what I have running my virtualization server. 64 gig of RAM, I think it's got like 2.73 terabytes of storage in a RAID 5 and then it has another RAID 1 which we're not going to get into much is a mirror image of each other that runs the OS the operating systems that I put on here right so the mass storage I have a what's called a, um, a I guess you'd call it a NAS or network attached storage server it's called TrueNAS that's the name of the of the server um, so that server, Zia, it takes a file system and it may, allows me to share files. I can send files to the server or retrieve files from the server. Right? Ah, does it sound familiar like I said before? Good. So right here, is it making sense yet? Okay, we're going to move on. This is the upstairs AP and I have a downstairs AP. So I have two access points. Those provide Wi-Fi only. That's all they do. They have a pass-through Ethernet that will allow you to pass through the data signal, but I don't use that. I just use them as a, as a wireless point of access. That's all I use. Okay, then you look here. I've got two iPads. I have one. My wife has one. Hers is one of the new ones. Mine's one of the... It's really old. My wife gave it to me, so I, I'll take it. Okay, I have an iPhone here and an iPhone here. So I have, I have the uh, iPhone XR... And she has the iPhone 11, what was it, Pro or something? I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, all those connect, all of these, and these connect back to these APs. And it depends on how far away you are from them. So if you're a really long ways away, like if I have them set to where if you go a certain distance, they connect to the other one. Now, we're not even going to get into that right now. But that's basically what happens, okay? I have these three workstations. This is my computer. Any of these could be mine. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> that's what I really want to hammer into everybody today, is that a computer is a computer. It transfers files. It communicates across the network. That's it. They don't do anything special. They just communicate. That's On a network-wise, that's all they do. Okay, right? So you can transfer files, like we said in the beginning, and that's what I actually use this virtualization server for, like I said before. So, these other two computers are my son's computers. They do the same thing. They transfer files across the network, or they pull files from a server, right? They transfer to and from a server, back and forth. That's basically it. That's all there is to a network. Basically, that's what I wanted to tell you all today, is that it may seem complicated now, but trust me, you will get it. Okay, so that brings me to my next point. What I wanted to really focus in on today was encouraging each and every one of you. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do it, or that you're not good enough, or that you're not smart enough. 
Ever. Don't ever let anybody tell you that. You are smart enough. God has given you the ability to be anything you can be. So here's my challenge to you today. Go out and make your dreams come true. If you have a dream, pursue it. Don't sit in your house waiting for something to happen. Nothing is going to happen unless you move. Okay, peace out. God bless y'all. I love you and so does the Lord. We'll talk to you next video. Peace out.